My name is Antonia Testa. I'm a gynecologist at uh, Catholic University. I am particularly involved in gynecology oncology. At uh, Fondazione Poliglino Gemelli Hospital, I created a school of ultrasound in gynecology. The most important requirements, mm, the most important requirements relating to an ultrasound system I'm always looking for are first resolution, so high quality grayscale image. Then uh, intuitive softwares, uh, allowing the examiners to use uh, the equipment at its best. In other words, easy to manage tools, uh, not very complicated. Then high quality vascularization assessment. When I discovered Aplio ultrasound machines, I was uh, fascinated by crystal clear images uh, with enhanced penetration. Moreover, regarding the vascularization, it was amazing to find in the machine the possibility to detect very, very small vessels. And uh, this is crucial for us to discriminate uh, uh, a papillary projections or amorphous material, for instance, within an ovarian cyst. And I have to say that also the Doppler luminance is um, fantastic because of these 3D rendering images. As far as innovation is concerned, I was very attracted by the possibility to explore fusion. So we decided to run a prospective study on patients with cervical cancer and a study in patients uh, with advanced ovarian cancer. At the moment, I can say that uh, I'm very happy about this experience and uh, in my opinion, fusion can play a prominent role for education to have the possibility to share in the same room the experience, the examination uh, together, radiologists and gynecologists together, it's uh, very important uh, for the improvement of the experience of both disciplines. Then there is uh, another important application. We discovered that ultrasound can play an important role in the surgical room. Why? With a transvaginal probe, we can guide the surgeon to reach that small area. Besides that, we obtained the, the laparoscopic probe. Canon provide us this laparoscopic probe. And this is fantastic because for some patients with a borderline ovarian tumor, for instance, we have to provide them fertility sparing surgery. So we need to select the area to localize the small lesion in order to spare the vast amount of normal tissue.